to look at how to solve our rational, rational equations. So here's our first rational. Okay, we have 1 over x is equal to 6, uh, 6 over 5x plus 1. Okay, it's an equation and we can't just cross multiply because we have an extra term over here. So we're going to have to deal with this using our least common denominator, our LCM. So we need to look first, what's our least common denominator, or least common multiple in the denominator? Well, I have an x and I have a 5x. So that would be a 5 and an x, and so I've got to multiply through by 5x. And when I do that, I multiply every single term, even this constant way out here, by that common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the first one by 5x. So I have 5x times 1, which is just 5x over x, is equal to 5x times 6 over 5x plus 5x times 1 over 1, because there's no fraction there. So you can just stick a 1 under that. Now look what I can do to simplify these. I can cancel those x's out and I'm just left with 5. Over here I can cancel an x and I can cancel 5 so I'm left with 6 plus okay all if I take 5x times 1 all divided by 1 that's just going to give me 5x. So notice what happens after I distribute this common denominator in and I clean it up, I'm left just with a nice simple equation. So now all I have to do is solve this two-step equation. I subtract 6 from both sides and I get negative 1 equals 5x divide by 5 and don't be afraid of fractions, it's okay. We get negative 1 fifth is equal to x. So there is the answer, okay? So what's the process? Well you find your common denominator first you multiply through by it and you clean it up to get a nice simple equation and then you just solve a one, two, maybe a three step equation. So let's look at one that may have a little bit fancier denominator. This time we have 6x squared, 2x, and a 6x squared as our denominators. Let's see what we can do to clean this one up. Okay, to clean this up I've got to decide what my common denominator is and that is a 6 and an x squared. So you want, always want to take the variable to the highest power. So I'm going to take 6x squared and I'm going to multiply it by every term. Okay, so the first one's going to be 6x squared times 1 over 6x squared equals 6x squared over 2x plus 6x squared times 1 over 6x squared. I forgot to multiply that one by 1, but it's still the same thing. Okay, now let's clean this up and get rid of all these fractions. Okay, the 6's are gone, the x squareds are gone, I'm just left with a 1. Okay, this one, 6x squared divided by 2x, well that's going to give me 3, and that's going to give me an x, so that's a 3x. Plus, 6x squared times 1 over 6x, oh, all that cancels out, doesn't it? So that's also a 1. Now from here I've got a simple two-step equation. Subtract 1 from both sides and I get 1 minus 1 which is 0 is equal to 3x so x has to be 0. Okay now this one has a special case. Because I've got 0 I also need to check and make sure it doesn't give me 0 in the denominator of the original equation. If I plug in a 0 here 6 times 0 squared I get 0. So we can't have zero in the denominator, so I actually have to eliminate that answer and this one has no solution. Okay, so when do you have no solution? You have no solution if you have a zero in the denominator. So you always have to check your rationals and make sure you don't end up with zero in the denominator because that is undefined in what I consider a no-no in math. Hope this video was helpful.